Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting one because I have been consumed by TikTok ever since the lockdown started. I would thought I never was going to download it and then, you know, as the lockdown progressed and extended, I downloaded it and I've been obsessed ever since. So today's video is trying some viral TikTok hacks. If you do have TikTok, go ahead and follow me. I'll put my username right here and the description box below. Before we get started on any of the hacks, I'm sure you guys have probably tried this one already and have already seen it all over the internet, but we're gonna go ahead and make some Dolgana coffee. I personally think it's pretty strong. It's really good because of the texture and the flavor. During the week, I personally make matcha Dolgana. The recipe is up on my TikTok. It's just matcha sugar heavy whipping cream. You blend it and you put it over milk, so it's very similar to the coffee one. But before we get this video started, let's go ahead and go to the kitchen and make some coffee. Okay, so to make the Dolgana coffee, you're going to need instant coffee, sugar, hot water, milk, and a whisk of some sort. You're going to add equal parts of the instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. I used one tablespoon of each, and you pour it into a bowl. Then you're going to start to whisk the ingredients together for about three to five minutes, and I usually tilt the bowl a little bit to make it a little bit fluffier, and here is your end result. Put it over some milk with ice, stir it up, and enjoy. I've already drank half of mine to get this video started. The next hack that we're going to try is the eyelash glue hack. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this one, but I've seen it a few times where they take their eyelash glue and they draw it on like eyeliner and apply it on that way instead of applying the glue to the eyelash band. So let's try it because if you guys have been watching my other videos, your girl is losing eyelash extensions weekly. I am in desperate need of some eyelashes because you know this lockdown got me looking like a naked mole rat. The hack is you take an eyelash glue that has a brush applicator like liquid liner and we're gonna apply it like you would a liquid liner instead of putting the glue on the lash band. So let's try and see if this is easier. Pretty fast at applying falsies in general. Um, pre-eyelash extensions I would wear lashes every day so I became pretty fast at it so let's try this they said you don't have to wait and you can just apply your lash directly on I have it on, it's pretty secure. Let's go ahead and do the other lash before I tell you my thoughts. Okay, the second one went on a lot faster than the first one. I'm just, oh yeah. I'm like pulling down on it to see if it comes off and it's really on there. Okay, so that actually really worked. I was kind of skeptic because, you know, I've just been so used to putting the glue on the band my entire life. It's not faster like some people say. Um, I mean, it might be faster for beginners. Um, I think this is a really great tip and trick for people who are not used to putting on lashes or are not comfortable putting on lashes it's definitely very easy just to do a line pretty messily and then just throw it on um, but you do have to kind of play with it once you put it on your lash line to make sure it's really close to your lash line so I wouldn't necessarily say it's faster than the old-fashioned way but I do feel like they are really secured on there so I actually really do like this hack i would recommend trying applying your lashes like this because for beginners i do think that they like it would be a lot easier for people who are not used to putting on lashes and just the way that they're sitting once you get them placed the first eye that i did i did have to kind of play with it for a while just to make sure it wasn't like popping off on the corners and stuff but i do really like they feel tight on my lid if that makes any sense so i really do like this hack 
two thumbs up for this one. This next TikTok hack might be my most favorite hack of all. I actually tried it a couple days ago because my cousin sent this to me and I was so skeptical when she told me I had just washed my hair. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try it and I'm at home anyways. So if it turns out ugly, I can just put my hair up. And I was shocked. And the next day when I was on my video calls for my work, I don't know if it was just because I haven't been doing my hair lately, but every single one of my calls, people were asking me what I did to my hair and I had to explain to them that I curled it with my bathrobe string. So this hack is really, really cool. I tried it out the first time a couple days ago just because I wanted to make sure that it was a good hack and also I couldn't wait because I saw so many videos um, on it and I wanted to try it out for myself. We're gonna do the curling your hair with a bathrobe string hack. The way you tie your hair and how long you keep it will, will definitely define your curls. So right now my hair is air dried. It's pretty much almost dry. I want looser beachy waves. So the other night when I did it, I waited till my hair was pretty much almost dry. I actually slept overnight with these in it but we're gonna test it out if you just leave it in for 10 minutes put your hair into two and you're going to place a bath robe halfway along your head we're gonna do the left side first so i'm gonna clip this side so that it doesn't fall and basically you're going to work in two sections on each half so think of it like two halves like this. So for the first part, you're gonna take, I want looser beachy waves. If you want like really tight curls, you can do smaller sections. But what I found works best is really big sections. So took like a third of my front hair and you're going to wrap it away from your head and bring it up under. Now, I don't know how to French braid, but pretend like you're French braiding and you're gonna grab another section of your front hair, add it to the hair that you already wrapped around the bathrobe and then wrap it away from your face again and under. And you're gonna take another section, add it to that chunk and wrap it away from your hair. And so that was three sections. And now we're gonna do the back section. And one tip that I have is the first time I did it, I was like wrapping my hair up here and you're gonna get like really long streaks. So you wanna hold your bathrobe tie towards the back of your head. Okay, so hold this hair. And then now we're going to take a big chunk. For me, I have more hair in the back because I have layers in the front, so the back is gonna be a little bit thicker. And you're going to bring it towards the front of your face and wrap it. And this is where it gets tricky because you have to make, make sure you hold it. But you're gonna wrap it towards and over and under. And it's gonna look like this. Another chunk of hair, add it to that section and you're basically going to bring it over and then the piece that you've been holding on to the first section that we did you're going to wrap it over so you want to you want your bathrobe to look like it has x's like an x every time so then you're going to wrap under again and add more hair for me i'm just going to add the rest of my hair to this and this is where I need to make sure I'm like wrapping it not too forward. So wrap it over and then wrap your front piece hair over. See how it has an X. And then you're just going to keep doing that. Then you're just going to tie, if you want beachy loose waves, you want to leave a good 
amount of it out and we're just going to tie it with the scrunchie I like to tie it with a scrunchie because I won't get that kink at the end if I were to use a hair tie. Let's do the other side real quick. Hold. And then your hair should look something like this. You can either sleep overnight with this. I'm going to try it out for 10 minutes and see how it looks like that. So and next, I'm super excited to try this one because I've seen a lot of people try it and their reactions are positive. Her username is... R I D A A A A M A T. And let's try this. So, first, we're going to apply the moisturizer all over our skin. I use the Ole Hendrickson Seabrush Brightening and Gel Cream. And her next step is to set that moisturizer with translucent powder. And I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So then after this, we're going to do a little bit of primer after we made sure the powder is dry. Okay, next we just apply the foundation as normal. I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors um, foundation. Even just looking at my skin up close, it looks natural and porcelain like there's no pores it doesn't look cakey i think i would have to try this out this this method a few more times to really see if i would permanently transition my routine but first impressions i'm impressed this is what the foundation looks like with the rest of my makeup on and i must say i am pretty impressed i mean it's totally different than the norm of what our routine normally is and i think it looks pretty good we're gonna take out the hair so i can show you what the curls look like it's now been in for about 20 ish minutes i'm gonna go ahead and take it out You guys, when I tell you that this is probably my most favorite hack that I've seen ever, look at my hair. It has been about 20 minutes. It took just five minutes to do. You can literally sleep in it and just wake up with your hair curly. I got more beachy waves, if you guys can see. The first time when I did it, I actually got like curls like how I normally curl it for going out. So maybe I will do a tutorial showing you guys if you leave it in longer. But again, I am shook. I definitely recommend this hack. And that wraps it up for testing out the viral TikTok hacks. If you guys have any additional TikTok hacks that you guys want me to try out, leave them down below. I also bought a bunch of stuff because of TikTok. So I'm thinking of doing a TikTok made me buy haul if you guys are interested in that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of my next upload. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.